What's up everyone? I bet you're probably wondering why I'm laying underneath my 95 Dodge Ram with the tape measure. And uh, the answer to that would be uh, I've been having some very bad ideas the last few days. Um, but the first bad idea I had was building this thing to make this much power because now I have um, a huge problem of being able to put that power down and this five-speed transmission as much as I want to use it is not going to it's just not going to cut it this thing will only hold probably 400 foot-pounds of torque so my 95 Cummins has a 47 RH transmission in it which is nothing special in stock form but if you get one fully built, it can handle upwards of 2,000 foot-pounds of torque. And I've been talking with, I think it's MTI, I'm not sure, but uh, I'm looking at having this one in my 95 built with like all Gorand parts, I believe it is, and uh, swapping it into this truck with this motor and putting the manual into my 95. Now it's a whole lot more work than I really want to get into, but uh, I really just don't want to make the same mistake I made with my BMW building something that makes a ton of power, but it's not going to be able to really put it down because the transmission is the weak spot. So uh, that's basically what I'm looking at today. I've got the drive shaft that uh, came with the manual transmission out here. And uh, I was basically just seeing if I'll be able to use it on this truck or not. And it looks like I'll have to get it shortened for sure. Um, it's about twice the length of the um, drive shaft that's in there right now because the chassis was a lot longer. Um, but the good news is that the uh, mounting points for the transmission are only approximately an inch different and the manual transmission will still land on the transmission mount in that truck and vice versa in this truck so that's the good news um, the bad news is the transmission is going to be like six thousand dollars <laughs> but uh, i think it'll be worth it so it looks like that's the direction we're going to be going and um I'm not gonna start pulling the transmission out right now or anything, but uh, it was just torturing me all day thinking of, of all these uh, plans and uh, not knowing whether or not it would uh, even be worth my while because uh, it's, it's a pretty big detour. But yeah, I, I think I'm gonna go for it. I'll be honest, the uh, thought has been on my mind for uh, a good while now. It's one of the reasons why I never took in the uh, manual drive shaft to get shortened to fit on this truck. Um, I, I am starting to take the drive shaft apart now though, and I don't know, I know with BMWs, two piece drive shafts are balanced as one piece, but I'm not sure with these if it matters um, if I take it apart, should I mark it and um, install it. Well, my issue is I'm gonna use the back half that's currently on the truck and get the front half shortened. So I don't know um, if that'll cause vibrations, um, but maybe one of you guys can clue me in on that. Anyways, this guy's probably gonna have to get shortened uh, two, two feet maybe. Um, I won't know for sure until I get the transmission in, 